open the chart through the Market Watch window, Component, Chart. Type in a symbol, choose Time Frame, and a bar chart is automatically displayed in the Chart Type field, and click Apply. There are several types of bar chart. Classic, open close, high low bars, then high low max volume where only high low and the maximum volume of the bar are displayed, high low bars, open close max volume, open close prices and the maximum volume are displayed, and Haken Ashi bars. Next, let's move on to the settings of the bar chart. Setup, Settings, Bar Tick. Here we can change bar width, change the color of the bars, and other settings. Next is the color of the second chart. We'll talk about it a bit later. Bar opening, closing colors, max volume, bar side up, down, flat colors. And at the end, there are tick chart settings and some other settings you can find in Setup, Settings, Miscellaneous. Here we can hide the flow by cell histogram, adjust axis font size, change the chart background color, and so on. It is also possible to set limits. Setup, Limit. Let's use Delta as an example to show how it works. Suppose we filter out only those bars who buy Delta exceeds 200. We see that they are displayed in green. And similarly, we can set limits on the Delta percent, that is, imbalances between buy and sell, the number of trades, the number of ticks, and the total volume of the bar. On the control panel, you can find a second chart function. It allows you to load the second chart to compare its correlation. For example, let's load the NASDAQ and S&P futures. The multi-chart function allows us to display different time intervals for the same instrument on one chart. You can find the link to the video about this function in the description. Next, let's move on to the tick chart. On the control panel, in the Chart Calculation Type field, select the Tick Chart and click Apply. Line Time function allows us to build a chart by seconds, so that we have a timeline divided by seconds. If we turn it off, the chart will be based on new incoming data, tick by tick. and pay attention to such a function that allows you to automatically shift the chart to the right by new coming ticks or bars. This green button is in the lower right corner. On the control panel, there is a volume filter. For example, we can only display ticks that exceed a volume of three contracts. And the time frame two function. It allows you to display volume or delta profiles of the selected interval. For example, we can build profiles for each 5 minutes interval. Tick chart settings are located in Setup, Settings, Bar Tick. There is an option to set limits for tick chart. This is Volume, Delta, Trades, and Big Trade that shows single big trades from time and sales.